Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States, episode number 7. We're at war with the French, we're doing well, we have plenty of budget. This is kind of the dream situation, the United States. <laughs> it, it's uh, something I'm repeating a lot, but maybe it just bears repeating that the United States is a wonderful nation to play as if you want to enjoy a more relaxed game, which, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not that it's going to be less intense at points, but it'll be less uh, difficult. It's just really left it less difficult because you actually have more action since you should have more ships available and all that. I wanted to point out something real fast. I'm actually showing over here the list. Um, this is the list for the ruled wave responses. So you can see here that we have a lot of ship types and you can rename at any time unless your ship has already been picked. This is a somewhat modified list. Obviously I removed the people who suggested the general things. And note that even though you put USSS, which is totally fine, you can include that. I don't have USS at the beginning of all my ships. I'm not including that. Just as kind of like the default game design style. So anyways, you can see there's a lot of ships. We have over 140. Yeah, 144 right now. So any of these points, you can see all the DDs have been picked because we lose DDs like very quickly. So if you are one of these unnamed individuals you can see that anytime there's a little black check mark in the corner little black corner that means the value has been updated and you can do this at any point in time and i will you know okay so this is a dd i missed for example um i should add this to the list so i'll just i would highlight this and i would change the color and then but i'm not gonna do that now because i'm gonna make sure i do this basically uh, only in a very uniform manner so i don't miss any names and then those get put over to this list. And uh, this name, by the way, is a Polish, this is a Polish general. I'm not sure the United States would name a ship after a Polish general. I didn't read the bio at all. So if you can convince me in the comments, just the person who suggested this, just convince me in the comments that this is a good ship for the US. Is there a reason why the US would commemorate this individual? Otherwise it's a de definitely a Polish name. So, or, or not, I don't know if this is Polish, but it's a Polish general and it's definitely a foreign name. So there has to be a reason for us to choose it, right? Um, and I think that that's it. Oh, these were supposed to be CLs, I think. These three were supposed to be CLs. And this one as well, I think was supposed to be a CL. I'll have to go back and check now because Again, I shouldn't be making these edits on camera. But anyways, just to give you an idea of how the naming thing works. And if anybody is asking for a ship class, I can just unfortunately pretty much <laughs> guarantee you won't get one. We have so many ship classes already uh, that, yeah, it would be, it's just, it won't happen because already there's like 10 ship class names and there's no way we're going to get 10 ship classes for any ship type. So let's get back to the war now. So that was a, a nice quick just aside just to mention how the naming scheme works and if you're wondering why your name hasn't been picked yet it's because it's probably really far down on the list <laughs> we have 140 and we definitely haven't had 140 ships yet so we invaded Anom last time that's why I named the episode Anom again um, there was some other stuff being recommended oh I mean the, first of all um, I wanted to make mention that somebody was the U on the USS USNS Mercy First of all, just a high level of respect for any um, sailors. I mean, this game is kind of for you, right? It's, you guys are out there doing what this, well, it's much different time. It's very different, the strategy, the tactics that militaries will um, invoke to win. I mean, there's not really this great power versus great power situation anymore. Um, the closest thing we can see, unfortunately, in recent news is maybe, I mean, these are landlocked mostly landlocked nations anyway, but if we had something like uh, Iran versus Israel, you wouldn't imagine much would happen on the seas, but, you know, that's... Anyway, let's not get into that because I don't want to talk about politics on this channel. So, okay, so let's hit next turn, which is going to be the best way to move on in. Our forces have taken control of the French possession of Anam. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, it happened. Now, I don't care. I've been saying, a lot of people have been suggesting that I just build the next Dreadnought design even with only three centerline turrets, and I wasn't gonna do that, but now, now I will. Three centerline um, four-inch turrets. I will probably do the aft centerline superimposed, 
or I'll do the forward center line super firing. I don't know. Maybe I'll do cross deck. I mean, I already have this battle cruiser design, which is super firing in front and then two cross deck. I could do that again, but with 14 inch for our dreadnoughts. And in which case, we'd be living in a very weird world, but kind of fun to think about if the US had gone very heavy on cross deck technology. What if we did have problems for some reason uh, with getting center line turrets? Maybe we had chosen to go with cross deck fire because. Um, it seemed to fit best with our ships. I don't know. Okay, so convoy defense, they're obviously going to decline this because they don't have any ships there. We're not going to be able to move our ships out of the Mediterranean, so I'm pretty sure that those are going to be uh, scrapped. So anyways, we do have some questionable choices for destroyers. I don't look as closely on the destroyers. I just tried to throw them in. So I, I know, for example, the Mayhan and... Somebody corrected me. This is the Fair Gut, not the Fair Goot. Thank you. Uh, so the Fair Gut class. Some people were asking for class of destroyers we just don't have I don't have enough destroyers classes to give out um, I destroyer class if you're asking for anything asking for a destroyer class is the right thing to do because usually these are not suggested but I reserve these things for the supporters I don't mind absolutely anybody can leave a comment about these things I read the notes in the ship's submissions but um, so feel free to ask for it but just know that you almost certainly won't get it it's it might even be a waste of your time to submit if you get disappointed even asking for it that you don't get it but if you know it's just a one shot in a million if you treat it in this sense go ahead because i don't think there's anything i mean definitely we need to build a new ship soon but i'm guessing four center line turrets okay so now we have taken we've invaded another french possession this is exactly what i wanted to happen um do not let them off light <sighs> Okay, so little by little, little by little, we'll we'll just ease our way into Southeast Asia. So now that means with tensions all gone, we pretty much have to send everyone home. Let's just go south. Anybody in Southeast Asia except for the O'Bannon 1904? Do these need to be refit? Not yet, but we'll leave the O'Bannon there. We'll take the Benedict Arnold out. We'll leave obviously Savannah there, but for right now we're just focusing on one sea zone at a time because that's the only way you can actually move these things from one sea zone to another. It cannot be from multiple sea zones to multiple sea zones in any way. East Coast. And then we'll put them all in reserve. So that's Southeast Asia. Let's get the Caribbean as well to move back. Um, yeah, we don't have the Panama Canal open. Some people, some people were mentioning that to me. Yeah, that's true. We don't. You're correct. Not yet, at least. Mainly I want to get, oh, see, I can't do northern. I just said how I can't do this, and then I <laughs> uh, didn't listen to my own words. OK, so that's that. West coast. I could sort by location, but honestly, when you unsort it, it kind of messes up things a little bit. Just these weird little you know, but parts of the game. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, what's our foreign tonnage requirement in Southeast Asia? 16. So good thing I checked. We actually can't get away with just one in Southeast Asia now. We probably... Oh, okay. Let's leave you, Florida. You and... What happened to Georgia? Georgia's there. Okay, so we'll leave the Georgia and we'll send the Florida home. The brothers will be separated. Actually, I can can do this the other way. I can leave the Aptos. I'll leave the Eagle. I'll leave the Eagle there, because she's the bottom one of the list. Okay, so now that will be left there, and that means all my armored cruisers should come home, which is just the Manila Bay, <laughs> although it would be, of course, really appropriate to keep her there. The maintenance cost, I, for, I mean, I also forgot to mention, I mean, you look at the maintenance difference between these 278, 276. It's much better per ton for me to be keeping battleships on foreign stations. Now, if I only have a requirement like I do in uh, Northeast Asia of 12,000, then I might as well keep a ship as close to 12,000 as I can. Wow, that is a huge bug. I'll have to kill that. Otherwise, other individuals in my home will be disappointed <laughs> to discover such a bug. Uh, anyway, 
yeah so it's it's better if we if we can actually get match the tonnage exactly that's always the best thing to do uh, okay good that bug is going to distract me it's right in front of my face probably i didn't move everyone who needs to be moved uh, did i get the ones from the mediterranean at least northern europe didn't move let's move you back and then we'll put everyone to reserve fleet, especially our battleships and our armored cruisers, because they're gonna to start to become obsolete anyway. So it won't be a big deal if their crew quality is a little bit worse. Although you can see that thankfully, after a little bit of time, their crew quality, because of our training, happens to, what about this? I mean, this is kind of a fun time for us to experiment. What if we also reduce our training Oh, can't be changed for 12 months. We're not going to go to war for 12 months. Let's do it. So we're going to cut our training. And then we'll pick it up again once tensions start to rise. And I, I have to say, we're definitely going to go at the French once again. Did our technology sharing agreement with the British expire? I believe so. But okay, so let's get these guys to active fleet. Oh, it worked. It did get them out. Okay, so that little cheap... Tact oh, okay. That's not necessarily true. They could have left while we were already at peace. Have we been at peace for more than a month, though? Yeah, one month at least. All right, fine. Get back home, though, basically. And, uh, well, we probably have to deploy these destroyers. <laughs> I mean, 17,000 is not a whole lot of maintenance difference. 20, 17, this is 3,000. We probably will deploy these ahead of time. I mean, basically, we should be deploying these... We'll refit them maybe in a couple years. Speaking of refitting, 1908, yeah, that's fine. We don't need to do any refits there. We should think about refitting our light cruisers and our armor cruisers and our battleships, even our von Steubens, our von Steuben. Lots of stuff we can get to, but okay. Submarines are underhand, unfair, and damned un-American. Should be un-British? I think it was un-British was the original quote. Um, and Jackie Fisher, I think, overruled them. But a Corsair will get our budget up. Not that we need the super high budget, but I think we do want some submarines. 21 is actually kind of a lot. In fact, I already did the math on this. It's better to always say of Corsair, and then you just take a, a prestige hit for not fulfilling it. Of course, we get a prestige hit if we do this. Our budget's already... I mean, our budget's going to work itself out. <laughs> We're the United States. What am I thinking? I mean, especially we just got $4 million back for this. But let's just do it because it means that we can design more ships. It'll be fun. Okay, so that is helping. We got Torpedo Protection 1. Also very valuable for our upcoming Dreadnought. Unfortunately, we're going to build some submarines first. In fact, I don't... Let's just build one. I just want to see where we are in the submarine process. I don't think we have much technology. Let's take a look. Submarines. Five, 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 five. One, two, three. So we're at 20% better than original. That might be, what do we start at? What's the reliability you start at? That would be a great question. If anybody wants to start a game, a new game, and just build a submarine immediately and figure out what what reliability submarines start at so that we can always do the math on what percentage we're at. Because I don't like to build them until their reliability about 70% or higher. And I, I don't, do we start at 50? In which case this would be the case. I don't think so though. I think we start lower, maybe 40, in which case this is 60 and now it's too low. I guess you don't have to, we'll be able to back it out as soon as the uh, S1 is built. But we're going to go ahead and just ignore their request and take the prestige hit. Okay, let's go back to make sure everyone's moving home. And then we should start getting these on reserve fleet. As soon as you make it back, welcome home and immediately to reserve fleet with you. Is shift gonna work? It did. You're always a little nervous about it with this game. <laughs> I 
Yeah, and actually we want to do, I think, the rest of these. 81 ships. Wow, we do have actually a lot of ships. So we've gone through, I mean, the minesweepers were half that anyway, but that still means we've gone through probably about 40, maybe 50 ship names, which is good. So we've lost a few as well. I mean, I guess we've only lost two Farragut classes, which we didn't even have time to name. They were sunk before they were even named. Um, yeah, so that's fine. RIP. Okay, Illy. Um, this is budget up, prestige down. Prestige and tension. I don't really care about going to war with Italy. I think we would crush them. Yeah, I mean, Great Britain has 10 dreadnoughts. See, they take the high... They don't... They just go for it. Unlike my strategy, which has been wait for good ships, they just build whatever they can. So we can see the new ships they're building is 90,000 for four of them, which means they're at 22,500 apiece. And that is still worse than my original dreadnoughts, <laughs> which were 24,100. So yeah, we're, we're looking good. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to take the British on if it comes to that. Things do not look any better. These guys are at like, what, 20? Well, they have two different ship classes, but averaging about 26,000 per, you can see directly. Did I do my math wrong? I did, I forgot to subtract out, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot to subtract out. So if it's three of them for 51,000, they're all 70,000. We can crush that. Yeah, so we have the best ships in the world. Jap Japan's building 20,000. Italy's building 21,000. We have the best ships in the world, basically. And our, I mean, look at this. We have three with higher tonnage than the four Germans. They have one more, which is being built at 23,000. Still not a match for our 28, 29,000 ton battle cruisers. Now remember, this is actually partly because we have extremely high dock size. 32, 27, 28, 27, 26, 26, 25. So getting the dock increased by a lot, which we did, and then I stopped as soon as we got to like 30,000, it's a great, great idea. I think budget up, prestige down. We're gonna take another prestige hit as soon as the submarines aren't built, and I wanna keep my prestige above 30. So I might even do this one. Let's see how much it impacts the budget. 3314, 317, okay, it's decent. But how many? So how much would it cost for us to build these submarines? Hundred thousand per. We need to. It would be two extra million to get that many submarines. Is it worth two million for fourteen months? Twenty-eight million total to save one prestige. No, <laughs> I don't think so. We could do the trick where we just build them for one month and then scrap them. Yeah, go ahead and take that. By the way, are we getting, no, no finance charges. So I really wanted to wait for this triple turret, but gosh, they're putting the squeeze on me. The budget wise, 320, actually, we have a higher um, yearly budget amount, so maybe I don't have to worry about going over 200 million. We're saving up, and then I'm really gonna crank on whatever battle uh, dreadnought we get next. Yeah, okay, we'll just we'll take it just so we don't have to research those. We aren't planning to build anything ever with nine-inch guns, but this means that it won't p be picked, won't be chosen as one of our research options. Uh, and still no messages about budget. Good, good, good. I mean, I can't wait. We do have 14 inch guns. We gotta get this quick, but I just really want this four iron line. Then we can build really good ships. I mean, we can probably build both a Dreadnought and a, how much, 33, 31. Okay, two, that's not bad.
and Germans have stole fire control technology from us. Oh well. We have more ships back here, which we can put on active. I'm going to leave our dreadnoughts on active, though. Suggest so everyone else. Whoops. Everyone else goes, though. Okay. Reserve fleet. This is 3.7, 3, 3.74. Wow, 3.74 to 5. Point whatever. That's a lot. <laughs> Saves a lot. Okay, good. So we're satisfying our foreign tonnage, which is amazing with only two ships, <laughs> considering we have one. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. We have four, five total sea zones, four additional ones, and we're satisfying that with exactly two ships. Total maintenance for foreign stations is just nothing. Ah, I love it. The United States is just such a fun nation to play as. It's so easy. <laughs> it's just fun, and we're going to get a lot of ships for it. I know that people are waiting for me to build this next ship, but I'm just waiting for four centerline turret. Um, let's not give them this. Square stream. I don't really care about that formation. They didn't take money from us. I was checking... Trouble reaching her design speed. Well, you win some, you lose some, right? Here's the new Venerable class. This is good to know. 25,000 tons. This is what we're up against. 12 12-inch 12 guns. It looks like it'll have a 10 12-inch gun broadside. 9-inch belt. 1.5-foot deck is terrible. Very, very bad for them. <sighs> they went with 14 5-inch guns for their secondaries. Looks like their casemate as well, not turret. Not a lot to like about this thing except for the speed. I would say that basically the speed is the only selling point. Okay, 10, 10 gun broadside is decent. We will be getting a 12 gun broadside though. Secondary turrets on destroy, uh, dreadnoughts is fantastic. Another thing we probably could have waited for, I didn't have, we didn't have uh, turrets available as our on our secondaries until now. But still, Okay, I mean, now now it's really, it's, it's, it's we've gone too far, 14 million. <laughs> um, I don't remember when the war stopped. Okay, 19, oh, let's think about refitting some ships. Just, I'm trying to find ways to spend money besides building a dread. I know that we're going to get four Siren Line as soon as I do it. I guess we're going to have to do cross deck fire. I'm okay with doing cross deck fire on battle cruisers more than I am on dreadnoughts. Could go with another battle cruiser class. Two in a row. I, I usually stagger one than the other. And these are still 25 knots. I mean, they're going to be very slow. What was their armor? Nine and two and a half. So they. I mean, they're okay. If we angle them when they retreat, they'll be able to get two guns firing to the rear. They're obviously much better at chasing. Hmm. Ah, it's really tough. You just don't know when that technology is going to come. Let's just do one thing. Let's wait. Okay, assuming that the yearly budget is the mark for the maximum funds we can have before they're taken away, we have about... Uh, six months before so for th for six months let's just put naval guns to medium let's say medium not low yeah what is it that I'm looking for it is ship design right center line it's the only thing on high for crying out loud I can't do that I just I need the naval guns so badly but let's see if there's other stuff we can take off Man, I was already really pushing it. Uh, 
I mean, this is <laughs> this is already pretty bad, yeah. Okay, we'll just wait three more months. Okay, we got better 12-inch guns. That's okay. That's something to redo all of our ships with. But we'll wait anyway. Come on. Of course, the longer you wait before just committing to it, the worse not having that technology is. So we're rolling the dice here that we get it. I don't think it's going to happen. Gosh. We haven't even gotten center uh, the light cruiser armor configuration, which is very strange. Am I correct about that? I should say that we may have, and I don't remember. Ah, we did. Okay, well, this makes sense. Our light cruisers are very old. We're going to stick with the same design. The 8-inch guns, people were saying that, why not stick with it? And I agree. Let's just do basically the same thing. It'll be oil firing with two 8-inch guns, except for what we'll do is, I mean, with four 8-inch guns, two double turrets. But what we'll do... We'll up the secondaries a bit. I think to four inches, we, I think, okay, so what's our gun quality at? Yeah, four, definitely going to be four. Definitely going to be four. Okay, so this is something to design then. And I have a ship for it, the Galveston. My cruiser, uh, I should, it's going to do it anyway, so. Okay, clear turrets, let's get the two. I'm pretty happy with this configuration so far. Are we still paying a penalty for it? Uh, what? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> What the heck did I do? No, I don't want secondary armor. What is illegal? I think it's giving me a hard time about the eight inch guns. Yeah, it allows six, but not seven or eight. Okay, maybe we do have to go with the traditional six inch gun design. What was the reason why? I think it's the, I think we can do it this way. Let's find out. Yeah, so if you go with protected cruiser armor scheme, you can get away with the eight inch guns, but not. Okay, th that was fun to find out together. So this means that we'll have to go with the traditional design for our next one. Okay, so clear, just auto generate again. In fact. Okay, so what did you give me here? I think we don't have any. We have three center line, right? We can do. So, you know what? Clear these turrets anyway. Let's do. A, and then I do want the wings. But we can do aft center line, aft. We can do those. There's going to be single. Oops, single. This is one, two, three, four, five. We need more. Okay, I like this. These are going to be casemates. They will be like this. Okay, it's fine as long as we don't think about the fact that <laughs> it's way overweight. It's not even that much overweight. What are they talking about? Okay, this deck is going to have to go up though. Climbing tower, I don't care. This is going to be 2, 2, and 0. What do we get? 7,000 is still not enough. My god, my god, what is going on? <laughs> Whew. We need more torpedoes as well. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be a very, very, very expensive ship. <laughs> Damn it, I don't care. We'll give the American people what they want. A really expensive ship. Okay. Um, 155 is not even that many. This thing could very easily run out of ammunition. We'll go to 72 just to get more ammunition, I think. That's a lot of ammunition. But we can take it down when we get director firing. So, in fact, what I can do, how much does this cost us? We're down to 155 again, but we can get six guns per side. How does this look? I like it. I mean, this is going to be a destroyer killer. Should be. Five-sided broadside is not amazing. We do will at least have three guns that are completely repetitive. Oh wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is six. Okay, I don't like this. Let's go put these midship. Wait, I think they were already there. Let's put them here instead. There we go. I like this better. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six-sided broadside. We do have, again, those three turrets which are redundant, which I don't like, but that's fine. We'll make do with what we can. Turret arcs. Looks good. Yeah, I think this is going to be our ship. 7,200 tons. It's a big one. She's a big ship. Let's do 3.5 just to give us that little extra... I love that. That was a great decision. Okay, this is it. I usually don't go below four for conning tower on these ships, but we're gonna do it just so we can get that one little extra bit of ammo. And 26 is not blazingly fast, but it's probably about accurate for 1910, about what we'd want. And getting her any faster is gonna be pretty much impossible. So let's save. Did I miss anything? Can we put mines? Do we have mine technology yet? No. Okay. Yeah, the one uh, disadvantage of this ship is that the rounds per gun is going to have to be decreased when we get director. That's going to be a pretty heavy blow, but she should go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other light cruiser. I mean, yeah. She doesn't have the 8-inch guns anymore, so in some ways... It's, it's going to be really interesting to compare her to the Grand Rapids. The Grand Rapids is going to be, like, probably still maybe even a better cruiser. So let's just do it. Let's build it. This is an experiment. This is what this run was meant to be is somewhat experimental. Um, I'm going to show all designs, sort by type. So the Grand Rapids was 24.8 at, at a maintenance cost of 133. Slower, though. Much slower. The Galveston is... Yeah, you know, pretty significantly more expensive, 29.8. And the maintenance cost is, yeah, significantly more, 158. So, you know, this is interesting. I'm not sure I, I'm totally happy with this decision. We probably should have built more of the old one, but that's fine. Let's get some uh, ships to follow her up with. Okay. I hope we don't already have a Saratoga. I think I checked, but Ebenezer Hoare, I was informed, was a lawyer, was it? During Grant's term. Aurora, always a safe name. And the Baltimore, which again, I hope hasn't already been picked. Well, that uh, still leaves us with five million in the bank. That's horrifying. I mean, amazing, but horrifying from a sense that I, I thought that I was really doing something and turns out I'm not. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. When we get four center line, this, maybe this will force the four center line because this are, uh, also would have significantly benefited from four center line. I think I'm gonna have to wrap this episode up pretty soon. I mean, not just to grab more, more names because now these are all done. And the Galveston has also been picked, but I'll just put her as, yeah, we'll just, CLs will be blank until I get something. I'm sure that there's another class ready to be picked. I'll look for my supporters 
for that. Okay, we have more funding. That's actually not what we need, but even the dock size increase, why not, right? We have money to just burn. Let's build some more forts. These are pretty easy to just keep. I like to build six inch forts that we honestly probably could build something else as well. Six inch um, North Korea, build two in North Korea. Why not? Maybe West Coast somewhere. This. And the Caribbean maybe needs something. Panama, Panama needs something, definitely. Let's build one there. We're doing what we can. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's put um, a 10 inch battery in the Philippines as well. Ninety five versus yeah, this is way better. Let's do this. And maybe even a six inch in a nom. She was so difficult to get. Let's protect her well. Why not? Right. OK, so we can look at that alliance. We're already gonna crush our foes. This is definitely the time for an international disarmament conference. Please. Damn it, damn it, it was worth a try. Because we aren't building any ships, so it's the best time. None of them would be scrapped. Okay, this basically forces our hand, now we have to build, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone's saying. But okay, so I'm gonna wrap the episode up here. We're still, I somehow made it one more episode without building without building our new Dreadnought or new Battlecruiser. But it will give you guys lots of commentary, lots of um, fodder for the comments. <laughs> please, Tortuga, please. <laughs> anyway, I'll wrap it up here. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you back for the next. Until then, take care.